CDC has developed a laboratory blood test to assist with efforts to determine how much of the U.S. population has been infected with SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. The CDC is also using its serologic test antibody to evaluate the performance of commercial antibody tests. CDC's serologic test has been designed and validated for broad-based surveillance and research purposes to provide information needed to guide the response to the pandemic and protect the public's health. Joining us now from Uganda is Professor Kilian Songwe. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much, Amaka, for having me. What is your projection in terms of finding a lasting solution to COVID-19? Projection for having a lasting solution to COVID-19. Um, there are lots of models that are being uh, exercised right now and that are being developed. I think the biggest challenge that we have right now with COVID-19 is we've not had a chance to see it go through one full cycle. Uh, which means I'm looking at uh, 12 to 18 months down the line for us to be able to better understand its, uh, its habitat and how it's going to be able to perform. But uh, where we are today, we are already well into the half point uh, of the infection so far. And I think in another 12 months, I think we'll be able to better understand uh, COVID-19 and be able to better understand how to manage it. All right, tell, tell us a little more about this uh, serological testing. What is it about? Serological testing is uh, testing that is being done right now to be able to understand uh, community prevalence. And basically, uh, it's a much more robust testing vis-a-vis uh, -vis the uh, PCR testing, uh, polymerase chain reaction testing. And the reason being that, uh, first and foremost, uh, collection of serological testing is very easy. It is done on blood, as opposed to the nasopharyngeal collection, which is a, a swab going deep into your nostril. And uh, with serological testing, one of the big advantages of serological testing is that the antibodies for which the serological testing is looking for is evenly distributed in the body system, which means that the blood can be collected at any point of the body. It could be collected in the arm. It could be collected anywhere from the body. And it's going to be able to give you uh, if it gives you a positive result, it basically says that you have been exposed uh, to the virus. One of the big challenges we have today is we do not know whether that exposure means immunity from a future uh, infection. And that's why I, I said earlier on that we'll need to be able to see this virus go through a whole cycle. And then we'll be able to tell whether a positive result from a serological test today means immunity from a future uh, infection. And again, if you had a negative result from a serological test, it could either be that the test was done earlier on uh, before you actually had the viral uh, symptoms, or it must have been done much, much later, and which means you never actually had the infection. So the serological test is a very important test in terms of understanding community uh, prevalence, but it also is an important test in terms of uh, collecting plasma if we wanted to do any studies to develop a drug. Okay, uh, tell us about some of the efforts uh, in your country towards um, joining research efforts uh, to find in this virus, um, a cure for this virus. Uh, actually, right now, I'm actually in uh, Kampala, Uganda. Uh, I'm doing an assignment here uh, for a Global Healthcare Public Foundation. And uh, one of the things that is going on uh, right here in Uganda right now is this, the Uganda Virus Research Institute, which is the premier uh, viral research institute uh, in the region. Uh, it was just recently uh, uh, appointed by Africa CDC to be one of the testing areas, uh, one of the testing laboratories uh, for the study on the virus. And uh, I know that at uh, UVRI, the Uganda Virus Research Institute, there is a lot of work that is going on there right now to try to understand the virus. Uh, there is actually a local test uh, kit that is actually in uh, validation stages right now as I speak. So I know that there is huge collaborative effort going on at the UVRI. And there has also begun to be conversations about doing something in the East African region, uh, doing a collaboration between uh, the Uganda, uh, Kenya, and Tanzania to be able to see what is actually going on in the region. So there is enormous work going on amongst the scientists in this region. Thank you very much uh, for sharing your thoughts with us on the news. It's appreciated. Thank you. Be safe out there.